G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines. A bit of a unique test today. I've got Rob Gaydon with me. He used to work at Fishing Monthly, but now is with Yamaha. And it's always interesting to see guys in the industry, what boats they actually own. And Roop, we've got your boat here today. Yeah. Take us through your pride and joy because I've never seen a boat so clean. Yeah, it's, that's probably a little bit because I'm fastidious with my stuff, but also because I haven't used it as much as I would have liked to. Um, or when I have been using it, a lot of time, it's been with family rather than fishing and, and dragging it to places I you know, had in mind when I, when I ordered the boat. But yeah, this is my Angler Pro Sniper 444 Pro with a Yamaha T60 on the back. Um, sitting on a single axle trailer, where do you keep it at home? It's in the garage. Uh, you know, my car sits outside because I love the boat more than the car. So, uh, yeah, you've got to take care of it and look after the gear. Well, I know the boat is shinier than the car. Yeah. Um, and there's not enough squid ink on this, mate. I know you like your squid fishing. Uh, how many have you put in? Uh, yeah, that's about the only thing I really keep these days is squid. So, um, I live on the south side of Brisbane and get across the Peel Island a fair bit squidding. But, um, yeah, there's been a few come over the side, but, you know, I'm fairly well versed in looking after the ink before you get them in the boat. Yeah, I've learnt that less than the hard way. We all have, haven't we? Yeah. Take us through your process in choosing a boat. Of course, working in the industry, you can sort of get whatever you like. Yeah. Um, what led you to the Angler Pro 444? Uh, yeah, having been around them before with Fishing Monthly in my time there, um, we'd been in and out of a lot of boats and um, I guess I knew what I wanted about a four and a half meter side console, um, 60 or 70. I went for a 60 because I like to fish lentils and there's a cap on, on yep. where you can do that, yep. not just lentils, but a couple of other places as well. Um, and so just did my shopping. Um, thankfully, there's a, a Angler Pro Yamaha dealer about 500 meters from my house. They had a few of these snipers in, in stock. I could jump in, sit in one. You know, they look like a pretty good solid construction to me. And uh, so we did the deal. How close is it to not fitting in your garage? Does it fit in easily? Uh, there's inches in it, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's a little bit of a strategic thing to get it in, but um, that was something I took into consideration when I was ordering too. Um, you know, being able to sit and measure it and go, okay, that's going to fit here, and I do have to turn the steering wheel full lock to get it to in, get it in yeah. but it goes in. What what did you vary from a standard triple four? Like, what features did you put in it that suit your fish? Uh, I guess uh, there's a few things. I went the T60 um, instead of a, a normal F60. Uh, the T60's just got a bigger gearbox on it. You can throw a bigger range of props, so including Yamaha SDS range yep. of props, so you don't get that clunk when you're shifting gears. Yep. Um, I changed to the concealed side mount box. Um, I put welded uh, cup holders in because you've got to stay hydrated in a boat. I believe yep. in that firmly. Um, it comes with a standard um, Yamaha red tank normally, but I paid the extra and got an underfloor fuel an tank. tank yeah. yeah, so I get a little bit more storage down the back. Um, that's really it. Then I just went about kitting it out how I want to. And picking the colour. Yeah, the colour was mine, but now everyone seems to jump on the bandwagon and I see a few <laughs> of them getting around. Uh, Dane Taylor also has the same coloured boat in a different breed, but uh, yeah, we like to think we, we started that revolution. It's a coughs thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is a coughs thing. Yeah, yeah, a couple of old coughs boys uh, still doing it. Yeah. Um, now, how long is it till one of those motors is available in white? I reckon that'll look awesome on the back of this. Yeah, there's there's fifties and seventies available in white. So if you wanted that for that color scheme, you'd have to go that way. Um, the normal F60 is not available in white at the moment. You know, I, I, don't, I can't sort of say if that's going to happen or not. Um, and it's the, happen, the, sure. the T60 is a little bit special again, so it's not available in white yet. But yeah, 50 or 70 if, if you have to have a white motor because they do look really good. Tell us about some of the accessories you've put on. I noticed you're uh, pretty BLA heavy there with some Humminbird and Minn Kota. Uh, have you set it up? Yeah, so this type of boat will probably tell you that um, I'm generally estuary and, and sort of impoundment fishing most of the time. So I like to use side scan a lot. When I was putting it together, it was Garmin or Humminbird had, you know, they were sort of state of the art in that side scan market. Uh, during COVID times, everything was hard to get. Yep. At the time I could get Humminbirds quicker than I could get Garmin. So that's the way I went because I wanted to go fishing. Yeah. And we were lucky because nearly all of the time during COVID, we could go fishing in Queensland, and that's why the industry, fishing and boating, went through it's, the roof. It's really it? taken off, yeah. You know, we, we've been on the phone to some of our, our southern counterparts down in New South Wales and Victoria who did it a lot tougher than us. Uh, and, you know, why we felt for them, we still took advantage of Queensland rules and went fishing. Um, but, yeah, I, I went, you know, Humminbird, Humminbird, Minn Kota, just because the whole system can talk to each other. If I had gone Garmin, I would have done the same thing, Garmin, Garmin, and the Garmin uh, trolling motor as well. Well, next time I see you with this boat, I expect there to be more squid ink on it. I expect there to be more scratches underneath, yeah. and uh, maybe that propeller 
should have a few more dings in at a height. Yeah, it's I'm, like I said, I'm pretty good at looking after the gear, but yeah, squid ink, you know, I could take or leave, barra scales, hopefully, uh, you know, um, tagging stuff, but yeah, I just need to get it out more, mate, yeah. There you go, so uh, look, we're gonna do what we normally do at Fishing Monthly, we're gonna put it on the water, have a bit of fun, and maybe come back to you afterwards with just a few of the performance statistics. So there you go, there's Roop doing some rare fishing in his, <laughs> in his boat out there. It was, look, it's a, a great day for fishing. Roop, if you only had some top waters out there, mate, you might have got yourself a couple of brim. Yeah, for a bloke who owns as many lures as I do, I should probably put some more in the boat. But when the kids are in here so often, I worry about hooks laying all over the place. So yeah, I do need to fix that. We uh, only let him have about six casts. We were out there doing some of the performance stats for this boat, and let's run through some of those now. This thing is really economical, uh, 4,000 RPM, 33 kilometres an hour at 4.1 kilometres per litre. That's about, with today's fuel prices, about 50 cents a kilometre. Yeah, surprising even to you, it's probably been in more different boats than anybody else in Australia. Yeah. So yeah, to surprise you like that, it, yeah, it makes me happy. And you've got a, a 50 litre fuel tank in this, so which means that there's nearly 200 kilometres of range, which means way camping for a week, anything like that, you can get yourself down yeah, to some deep country. Less jerry cans, just you can go away, not have to worry about it, power up the whole time. Wide open throttle, uh, 2.7 kilometres a litre, which is still pretty good, uh, 53 kilometres an hour, that's at 6,000 RPM. But I suppose the main reason I've got you in here doing the, the closer, which I don't normally let people that own the boat in here, is because you spend more time in the boat than me. And, it's, and if someone's researching this boat as a fishing boat, I wanted to be asking you the questions about what you like so much about this boat. You know, I love boats that have big, full carpeted floors, you know, anything you can stand up all over the boat and cast is a great boat to me, but, but what, t what rings your bell when it comes to this boat? Uh, for a side console, it's still got a lot of space left in it too, so um, you can get around quite freely, fish almost 360 degrees around it, um, plenty of storage to put all your gear away, um, it's, you know, still timber floors, so it's not uh, waterproof, but yeah, everything's out of your way, plenty of power down the back. Um, I put these on the, the um, splash guard up the front just to keep everything a little bit drier. Um, so, you know, for a, a side console, four and a half metre tinny, it's particularly dry, especially it's glass today. But yep. um, I live on the southern end of Morton Bay, and even when we go across the islands, across there, we've had a few rough days, but you're not getting soaked. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's a really good all rounder. I had it, you know, I'd love to have three or four boats to do three or four different things, but everything's limited these days. So, um, try and have to cram into one thing and it's been a great uh, addition to our family. Yeah. You are correct, a paddle boarder didn't get any slop on his boat today and he has got any free board at correct. all. Correct, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd still rather be in, in this than on a paddle board though. So. Exactly, and uh, I suppose if you're looking for a boat which has that, uh, hey, if it's, a good, if it's a good day, calm on the Gold Coast, you can go catch a mackerel in it. Yeah. Estuary's fine, fresh water's fine, yeah. um, and is it expensive to run? It's no, sort of it's, hit the spot, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's really good, and and you know we were talking on the way in. You're probably more worried about fuel going off because you've got it for so long. If you fill that 50 odd litre tank up, because um, yeah, it's so economical. But yeah, plenty when you need it. Yeah, look, I think if you're looking at a boat to step up from that basic tinny, if you've got a tiller tinny, you're tired of getting cooked by the sun on the inside, you want a boat with some carpet, a little bit of luxury, some lovely seats in it, which are comfortable to sit in, and a variety of uh, seat mounting options on the floor, then this may be the boat for you and uh, see your local Angler Pro dealer. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and, and don't forget to get a Yammy if you can.
<laughs> One more question I got for you. I know you, this is a staff boat. You probably got it at the staff prices, but around what price recommended retail for uh, like this? You know, mine's a little bit different, and, and what I told the wife might be different to what I say on camera too. But um, basic starter, I think they're in the sort of mid to high thirties range. Um, once you start adding different things Boys. to them, you know, there's there's a fair electronic suite in this as it is. Like you said earlier, we yep. all like big screens. Uh, I'm no different, so that sort of bumps your price up a little bit. But yeah, they're, they're definitely an affordable BMT package. Yeah, we know that the Angler Pro is uh, is at the correct end if you're looking forward to, to upgrading your tinny. And, yeah, uh, and boats are getting any cheaper. Absolutely, and, and you know, you asked me earlier about you know the comparison I did. When you start looking at them, they've got a lot more aluminium than some some other boats too. So you know, what you get for your dollar, I think it was great bang for buck. Well, there you go, for, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, Rob Gaden Jr.'s Angler Pro boat. He loves it. Just needs to spend a little bit more time in it. More information. Uh, check it out at your local Angler Pro dealer.